Hey, what's up YouTube? I'm gonna show you how to fix this problem that you're not able to connect to some websites. At first, I was having the problem with only one website, my company's website. I thought that I was having problems connecting to the server only to my company's server, but then I realized that I was having the exact same problem with some other random websites. So in this case, the problem was local in my computer. I'm gonna show you how to fix this problem. It is super simple. The first thing that we're gonna do is to click on the Wi-Fi icon and then open network preferences. We're gonna select the option to turn off Wi-Fi. The next step is to unlock this little master lock that is right here, put your password, unlocked. Then we're gonna click on advanced. On this next window, we need to delete the network that you are connected on right now. In this case, my network is Dennis. I'm gonna delete it. Just click on that minus button. The next step is to click on DNS. Right here, we're gonna add some numbers. Click on that plus button. We're gonna type in for number eight, eight, that eight, that eight, that eight. After that, we're gonna click the plus button again and we're gonna add eight, that eight, that zero, that zero. Once you're done, click on okay and click on apply. Now we are ready to turn back on our Wi-Fi. Click on our network, put your password and we're ready to try it. Okay, now let me get something clear. At this point, it will be working for some people and for some others, it won't be working. In this case, this first step didn't work for me. Now I'm gonna show you the second step, which it will fix 99% of the cases. If this first step worked for you, perfect. If not, just keep watching my video. The next step is again to click on a Wi-Fi icon, open network preferences. This part is gonna sound a little scary, but don't worry, everything is under control. We're gonna delete our Wi-Fi and we're gonna put it back on again. This is to reset all of the Wi-Fi settings and we're gonna put it back to factory settings. We're gonna select the Wi-Fi network, click on the minus button and we're gonna click on apply. After that, you'll see that you have no network settings. Now it's time to put it back on again. Click on the plus button, select Wi-Fi and click on create. And don't forget to click on apply. Now your network should be there. If it asks you for your password, just put it in. And now it's time to test it. As you can see, now everything is working as normal. If this video was helpful for you, don't forget to click that like button and subscribe.